All right, people. So welcome back to my videos. Uh, I have a new gear that coming in. I would like to unbox it today because you know I do a lot of 360 video frame making, and currently I have some of the traditional video cameras, the Insta 360 One R, the modular one, Insta 360 One X2. Those has been good working horse for many of my 360 video projects. But we have a new member in the team. This is the Insta360 ONE RS, an interchangeable lens 360 camera, very long name. The, the, the important thing is this is the one inch 360 edition. So which means, um, I read some description, this is a specifically 360 video and a 360 camera and it has a bigger lens, has one inch sensor in it. So I think the bigger sensor, you know, capture more lights, and it will deliver, supposed to deliver higher quality of 360 video. You know, in 360 video, because you wrap around and you look at the part of it, the resolution is very important because the higher resolution, the more uh, higher quality people will see. And I think those days, those two cameras, the previous one, they do 5.7K, but their sensor is relatively small. So I think their resolution is on par okay and the quality is just good to use. But this one, I am expecting it will deliver better video quality compared to those. And also I use that bigger, the, the, the huge professional level Insta360 Pro 2 camera. Although they do 8K, tremendous pixels, a lot of uh, data being saved, but that camera is heavy, huge, and need a lot of setup to use. So I'm, I think my personal expectation is this guy will be a uh, balance point between the Pro, that which sacrifices a lot of mobility, and then those smaller ones, they're easy to use, the workflow is much easier, but their quality is a little bit mm, down. So I, I find, hope this one will be a balance point in between. Like with good quality, they deliver a very relatively good visual, but because of it, it's a still you see the small package thing that it will be easy to carry around, set up, and I hope the post-processing workflow will be also relatively easy and less demanding comparing to the Pro One. Uh, okay, enough saying, let's get into it. So what I have here is one package of camera. It says um, the one inch 360 edition, and I also got two batteries. So, but it's a little bit different. They are the vertical battery base, and let's have a look. So one thing I noticed interesting, so what I have here is also a Insta360 S2 camera, the box. So I think it's that guy. And you see the name, although we know they are all 360 cameras, this one says Pocket 360 Steady Cam. This one says Interchangeable Lens 360 Cam. So yeah, they, the company do some very interesting name and nomenclature stuff, but we'll put it aside. But let's have a look at this one. Let's do the unboxing and remove the wrapping, so which is the moment of excitement. So you see what I normally do is I just cut the wrap from the back end and remain on the top. Is it all? Oh, there's one stuff here. Okay, let's put it away. So it says in the box there's a lens, there's RS core, there's a vertical battery base and a a bracket that puts them together and then just a lens cap and then some cable. So it's relatively easy package. And on the side, most of stuff we know, a, a Do360 has some stabilization. Insta360 cameras has been very good for their reputation about the stabilization. HDR is not a big deal. One thing notice is a Do6K 360 video. Compared to those ones, I think they do 5.7K. So there is a comparison. You find some similarities and it has one inch sensor. So I think those two are the major upgrades. Uh, but we won't see that in unboxing because I have to need to get the camera into field to use it in order to get what I want. All right, here we go. Moment of choose. Oh, it's already there. So it's really pr relatively Simple, nothing on that end. Let's put it aside. And here is the camera. And I have to say, oh, it's the first impression is it's really heavy as well as really big. So if you compare the size, you see it's much bigger. So if I remove the cap, 
do some comparison. So the lens is bigger. This is one inch lens. This is a regular lens. So lens is bigger. The thickness, you see how crazy those lenses are. This is just much bigger. And it literally has a plate on the side that says one inch. I'm not sure if you can see it because uh, it's a little bit dark. It has one inch here. And yeah, and let's put it aside. And it's already assembled. So the, this is the lens. And this is the camera body. So the processing unit, there's a screen that we can use. And there's some stickers. I think there's a battery. It says charge the battery before we use. It means, um, yeah, it means it might have no juice in it. Let's put it aside and uh, well, let's see what's else in the box. So there's some other um, accessory box here, I believe. Uh, it has a QR code that asks you to download the 360 app. Okay, that's what we can do. How do I open it from here? There's no pull tab. We need to design the box a little bit better. Okay, here we are. What do we have? Cleaning cloth, as expected. Let's put this one aside as well. Cleaning cloth, some user menus more user menus, stickers, stickers, stickers are getting smaller, cameras getting bigger, stickers getting smaller. And I wonder what's in this, I think it's the lens cap. Oh yeah. And because the lens is huge, the lens cap is also huge. So this is very important because uh, you need to you know the cameras, Insta360 and the cameras, the lens are intruding and they are really uh, intended to be damaged if you don't protect them well. And because the camera has a much bigger lens, so the lens cap is also huge. Yeah, so now let's remove those films on top of the camera. There's one here, and there's another one here. Yeah, the lenses are just unbelievable big, and instead, especially it's on such a small body. There's more film protective film here. Even this, these two plates have their own protective film. So it has, says flow state on one side and one inch CMO sensors. Ah, it has some details. It says it's f2.2 and 6.52 millimeter focus lens in equivalent. It looks like they are like a digital ink or some little screen. I hope they can be some screen because these are in the depth zone of the camera and if they can display some extra information, that would be great. But no, they are just some plate. So there's a yeah, there's some uh, instruction about how to use the camera. So let's put the lens cap on. Man, this is really huge and it's much hefty compared to other cameras. So there's some else thing there. Um, dehydrate and that's the, that's the cable. And I noticed this interesting thing here. I think it's a, it's a lens cap. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a lens cap as a backup or it's an alternative towards the camera. So yeah, this is a lens cap. So for you, those you use 360 camera, especially 1R, you know, it's, those are really going to really easy to be um, lost. So I think there's a cap here and it says what it says. It says, open this USB cover first, then disassemble the camera. Okay, well, how do I open it? Okay, so this is the battery charging port. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it. And in order to disassemble, I need to press those two things first and the lens goes off. Okay, so it's actually modular. This is a lens module. I put it down and this is the core. Let's see, let's see. Let's open the port and see if I can pull it out. Oh, there's, a, there's also a um, quarter inch screw mount down on the bottom. So you don't need any other frame to, in order to attach it. Yeah. Ah, interesting. No, I think the instruction is wrong. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not very, very well designed. So making some, um, but how do I get this guy out? It's just so well assembled. And I don't see any way to pop it out. Is it popping out? I think it's moving out a little bit. Okay, let's see. It's so hard. So they, they designed it in a way that 
They didn't want people to disassemble. Yeah, they just slide it, slide it out. You see, it's a bracket, so it's just a bracket. And it's, this is actually easy to disassemble. Ah, I see. So this is the core module from 1RS, which is the upgrade of this guy, 1R. So I'm not sure if they are exchangeable. I, I'm just gonna do a test later. Yeah, the regular thing, bottom, shutter button, uh, the power button, display, and yeah, the, so this is where the lens cover, the cover is coming from. So they removed the waterproof cover from this guy. So in order to let this vertical base to directly go in it. So I think normally, you know, on, on R, the battery is on the underneath. So I think that's the reason. But I'm thinking that you don't have the, the port cover here and there's no SD card in it at this moment. And in such direct connection, I'm not sure how much it is waterproof. That's, that's the big question I have. Looks like there are some waterproof protection things and on um, some of the details. Yeah, and on the, on the lens, on the bracket, to hold them together, there are buttons that actually press into it. So directly press onto the core of IS module. That's a very, very interesting design. So uh, theoretically what they do is you just put this one on. I'm not sure which direction. I assume they are okay on both direction. Is that okay? Yeah, so this one goes in and then the battery then also um, goes on which side. Yeah, so they're like stacking Legos. Okay, so let's look into a little bit more on the modular thing. So these are the modules of this 360 camera, as you can see. The land, this, this little door, let's, let's put it aside, I don't lose it. And those things I don't need it now. I'll put it back to the, to the box. And these two vertical batteries, we can look at the last. Or maybe just we can open one, so there's some stickers on the side. There's a landscape, there's a landscape, okay. I think it's just a battery case, if I open this way. Has a, there's a, has a little drawer. But the battery has even more user menu comparing to the camera itself, which is interesting. So put it aside, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the battery, and this is just some frame. The battery is sealed in a plastic wrapping. I don't like them because they are not very user friendly. Yeah. So it just goes out like that and just put it away. Exactly the same as this one with just no instruction on it. Uh, so the mount is under the battery, USB-C charger, charging it. And then this is power, where power supply that goes to the camera, the, not the camera, the, the body. Okay, so now let's look at some module thing. This is the one inch version. I'll put this one aside a while, those things. And you know this is the one, uh, one R, so we don't have the upgraded version. It's the original modular one R. So it has the battery, its body, as well as the lens. This is also having a 360 module on it because we have another 4K GoPro-like module, but not in here. So the battery goes off, goes down like this. Someone didn't clean it very well last time using in some sandy or maybe on the beach. So the module just goes off like that. And I wonder, are they interchangeable? So this is 1S, so if you can see, there's 1RS, this is 1R, a little bit upgrade I heard. So can we, can they just go in like that? Oh, they can. So they can get in like that. And I wonder if the, if the battery goes on, let's have a try. Yeah, it just snaps in. So now I just have a regular 1RS, does it turn on? Surprising it? Yes. So it means the body is compatible with the original 1R lens as well as the thing. So it asked me to set up because it's a relatively very new camera. Let's just turn it off. We'll do that later. Now, later. And yeah, let's just disassemble it again. Battery goes off. Module goes off. So this one goes back there. And let's assemble this back. So this is back to 1R. And I like the modular design because it's easy to really use. So they should, in SAS 360, if you're listening to this, you should be, keep doing the modular design and the lens cap back on. And let's assemble this. And so I think what I need to do is I'll just put the battery back, slides in, 
and the module as well as slides in so that's pretty much half of it and the huge big lens module on top can i do it okay yeah it snaps in and close the port and that's pretty much it that's the oh i think it's is it directional i don't think it's directional because there's no difference on this end versus other end right if i reverse it does it matter and yeah, it doesn't matter so i think the thing they are the same okay so that's pretty much it uh, the extra batteries i would do another one that's just an unboxing of the one inch version of insta 361 rs yeah so uh, portable easy to use still easy portable easy to use 360 camera with a one inch sensor and higher resolution so i think this one will be my go-to camera from now on i'm gonna do several 360 video projects with it and see how it does compare to this X2, which I have been intensively using for many of my previous Insta360 Insta video projects, as well as the R1R before that. Yeah, so I really hope it will improve the video quality, the production quality a lot. And I will see how the data size, as well as some of the others, see if it's it's still easy to use, but improve the water, uh, the video quality as I expected. That's what I really want to know. So thank you for watching this unboxing with me, and until then, see you next time.